ludicrous. It is beyond really the imagination of an intelligent individual to listen to such nonsense as this. Islam does not present such a case. If there are those who call to that type of activity in the name of Islam and misrepresent these verses or these words to have an agenda, a political or social agenda, which is having this kind of violence, they are not really getting it from Islam. In fact, we will say they are closer to the devil than anybody we know. Because not only they're committing this horrible fitna or terrorism, they are trying to destroy the very truth, the very salvation of what Islam is all about. Okay, now, I realize that there are those who watch our program. There are those who will say, well, yes, but, yes, but, yes, but. You're welcome. You can do that. You can say this, and you can try to bring another and another and another. But I want to... I want to assure you to go to the real teachings of the Quran and the teachings of Muhammad, peace be upon him, and try to clean out your heart and clean out your mind and clean out some of the garbage that's been handed to us. Because that's the only way you're going to know the real truth. If a person wants to believe lies, there's not anything you can do about that. And if a person wants to spread trouble and fitna, terrorism, what can I say? That's their choice. But our job is to know the truth and present it in the best possible manner. Again, I'll repeat, that's why we have these programs, Lifting the Fog. I hope and I pray, it's my sincere desire, that the people of this earth will know what the real truth of Islam really is. I hope that that will happen in our lifetime. And I hope also that the honest and straightforward political people and leaders of the various communities around the world will take the opportunity to consider the words that we've spoken here in this program. Because for sure there's nobody on this earth who wants peace and justice more than a true dedicated Muslim. But these things cannot be realized as long as there are people who want to believe lies, who want to promote misunderstanding and who have an agenda of their own. There's a famous saying, and I think almost everybody's heard this, that you shall know the truth, and the truth will set you tr free. But Allah has said in the Quran, in Surah Al-Isra, chapter 17, verse 81, if I'm not making a mistake on the numbers, He says, Bakul And it says, Say, the truth has come. And when truth comes, it destroys the falsehood. Verily, the truth will always destroy this falsehood. Falsehood is destroyed by real truth. And that's, that's our sincere prayer, our dua, if you will, for all the people everywhere. Take time to learn the real truth about Islam. And don't spread information that's incorrect. Don't say things that you haven't researched and just uh, throw it out there to join the group, as it were, that are saying what they want to say, promoting their agendas. Find out what's the real truth and stand up for the truth. If we've made any mistakes in our program, we hope that you'll contact us and help us to do a better job. And if you find Muslims who are saying something, ask them to bring the proof of what they've said from reliable scholars of Islam. Because I will assure you, there is never been, never will be anything in Islam calling for any kind of oppression of any type, whether small or large. Because it is Allah, God Almighty, who has said that He hates oppression because He said even before He started His creation, He forbid Himself to ever oppress. He hates oppression. And this word in Arabic, oppression, is bulum. And bulum is so bad, and those who do it, they commit bulum, and those who are the oppressed, is something, it's a big subject throughout the Quran. Those people who are suffering from oppression, and, and we know this in Islam, 
whether they're Muslims or Christians or Jews or Hindus, well, it doesn't matter. When they're oppressed and they raise their hands and they ask from God, He's going to take their prayers immediately. Any good Muslim knows this. He knows that if he oppresses people and they hold their hands up and ask from God, <laughs> that he's going to be the one that really suffers. So it can't be that any real scholar of Islam or knowledgeable person in Islam is calling for oppression. And it can't be that somebody that even has a basic understanding of what we're talking about here today could associate Islam and Muslims with these activities or these actions which so very much do not represent Islam. Now I know that after you've had a chance to talk with somebody, if they're a reasonable person, they're going to say, well, I'd like to know more, and, and I didn't know all of this. And that's fair. Let them come to know more about it. There are many good websites that we use for this purpose. There are also many good booklets published in different languages to help aid in this same effort to present the true message of Islam. There are even hotlines with 800 phone numbers established in the United States that help people to know what the real message of Muslims is all about. But more than anything else, you, if you're a Muslim and you're listening to me right now, it is your responsibility to know the truth and to tell that truth to the people. And it isn't permissible for you to ever oppress. And if you see other Muslims doing it, you have the responsibility in front of a law to make them stop. I pray, and I'm ending our program, wrapping it up with this. I pray that Allah will forgive us for not having done a better job in the past of presenting the true Islam. Ameen. And I pray that Allah will guide us to do a better job of showing true Islam through our character and through our behavior. Ameen. And I also pray that you who are listening and watching this right now will open up your hearts and open up your minds to learn the real truth from the real God of the real way for all of us to be in submission to Him, doing what He wants us to do. The prayer says that you ask for God's will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's mentioned in the New Testament. And that's the same thing Islam means. So if you really want truth, you want justice, and you want God's will to be done, you're not saying anything different than what Muslims say in their prayer when they say, Edina Sarato Mustaqim. O God, guide us to the straight path, the path of those that have your favor, and not the path of those who have your anger or those that go astray. Amen. You've been watching Lifting the Fog. And we hope this has helped do exactly that. Lift up that fog. Till next time, this is Yusuf Estes saying, Assalamu alaikum. Peace be with you all.